This is an audiovisual representation of a study published in the Journal of Bone and Joint Surgery in 2018. Dupuytren contractures occur when the connective tissue aponeurosis in the palm of the hand gradually develops a thick, rigid cord. This cord limits the patient's ability to straighten one or more fingers and can impair functional use of the hand. Open surgery, while an effective treatment option, requires longer recovery, splinting, and rehabilitation. Alternatively, two minimally invasive treatment options include percutaneous needle fasciotomy, or PNF, and injectable collagenase. PNF mechanically divides the cord via repeated needle perforations, while collagenase works by enzymatically weakening the cord. However, injectable collagenase is approximately three times more expensive than PNF and also requires two patient visitations instead of just one. The goal for both treatments is to rupture the cord and restore the lost hand motion. Researchers in Sweden compared the clinical and patient-reported outcomes of these techniques in 156 eligible patients with a contracture of the metacarpophalangeal or MCP joint 78 patients were randomly assigned to each treatment group, and 152 were followed for two years. Of the 152 patients examined at two years, 60 and 58 in the PNF and collagenase groups respectively retained a straight MCP joint. Moreover, cords could not be detected in more than 50% of the patients at two years. In fact, both treatments proved to be effective and after two years, no differences were noted between the groups in regard to the rate of contracture improvement, patient satisfaction, rate of recurrence, or any other outcome. Thus, results showed that both PNF and injectable collagenase were equally effective, minimally invasive treatment options for Dupuytren contracture. However, given the lower cost of PNF, utilization of this treatment may be preferable.